where someone took chance upon the sheep stable on the outskirts of Bethlehem that morning, what a particular scene they would behold. The stable stinks as all stables do. The stench of urine, dung, and deep reeks pungently in the air. The ground is hard, the hay scarce, cobwebs cling to the ceiling, and a mouse scurries across the dirt floor. A more lowly place of birth could not exist. Off to one side, a group of shepherds sit silently on the floor, perhaps perplexed, perhaps in awe, no doubt in amazement. Their night watch had been interrupted by an explosion of light from heaven and a symphony of angels. God goes to those who have time to hear him. So on that night, he went to a simple shepherds. Near a young mother sits by a weary father. If anyone is dozing, he is. He can't remember the last time he sat down. And now Mary and the baby are comfortable. He leans against the wall of the stable and feels his eyes grow heavy. The mystery of the event puzzles him, but he hasn't the energy to wrestle with the questions. What's important is the baby is fine and Mary is safe. As the sheep comes, he remembers the night the angel told him to use Jesus. Wide awake is Mary. How? How young she looks. Her head rests on the soft leather of Joseph's saddle. The pain has been eclipsed by wonder. She looks into the face of her baby, her son, her Lord, his majesty. At this point in history, the human being who best understands who God is and what he is doing is a teenage girl in a smelly stable. She can't take her eyes off of him. Somehow Mary knows she is holding God. So this is he. She remembers the words of the angel. Of his kingdom here will be no end. Luke 1, 33. He looks like anything but a king. His face is prunish and red. His cry through strong and healthy is still the helpless and piercing cry of a baby and he is absolutely dependent on Mary for his well-being. Majesty is in the midst of the mundane. Holiness, the filth of sheep, manure, and sweat. Divinity earing the world on the floor of the stable through the womb of a teenager and the presence of a carpenter. She touches his face of the infant God. How long was her journey? The baby had overlooked the universe. These rags kept him warm with the robes of eternity. His golden throne room had been abandoned in favor of a dirty sheep pen, and worshiping angels had been replaced with the kind but bewildered shepherds.